It's Darcy Lacoube reporting live from CS 2023 with Authority Media. I'm here with Richard Kowalski, the Director of Industry Analysis and Business Intelligence with CES. Thank you very much for joining me today, sir. How are you doing? Good. Glad to be here. So uh, let's talk about some themes of CES in 2023. Yeah, uh, well, what we're seeing at the show this year, uh, especially from Consumer Technology Association's perspective, you know, we organized the show. And uh, heading into this uh, CES 2023, we uh, had the opportunity to partner with World Academy of Arts and Sciences to cover um, technologies that uh, help human securities for all. So these are, you can think of them as human rights, uh, things like uh, the right to political freedom, the right to uh, political, your personal finances and uh, environmental protection, the right to food even. Mm. And so all these, um, you know, we've always been looking for examples of technologies that help uh, tell that story of how technology is helping humanity and helping society grow and be able to conquer some major issues across the world. So this was, uh, so we're seeing a lot more tech, uh, especially geared towards things like sustainability uh, and food uh, security, which is uh, huge. We have that John Deere here. So they're talking about the agricultural side of things. Uh, keep going on, on and forth with that. There's a lot of uh, examples of this, but it's been a, a really good uh, overarching theme. And one of the first times we decided to theme CES uh, as a whole. I think it's fantastic and you know it's also leading the industry in a positive direction too. Are there any uh, products or, or brands that you think are particularly focused on sustainability? Uh, yeah I think uh, you know talking about uh, you know John Deere and ag tech you know they're looking for solutions that uh, just help uh, food growth become more sustainable. We have uh, some companies here looking at alternative proteins so you know, taking the animals out of the picture and manufacturing proteins uh, for pe to feed people and taking out what can be, uh, you know, uh, harmful to the environment, methane production from cows and things like that. So, uh, you know, food tech uh, on the agriculture side, just more sustainability in terms of how water is being used, how crops are being um, grown, how to make it more efficient so you're not you know, uh, you're treating weeds, but you're not over pesticiding your crops and things like that. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems to me that uh, CS is a, an event that we all look forward to every year. It was a great way to start off the year. And after having a hiatus, you know, as we know during the pandemic, it's really great to be back. Uh, have you seen any particular product that you're excited about at CES? Kind of stand out personally? Picking just one is tough. Um, oh, one in this hall um, is called Newbie Lab. Okay. And it lets you take a photo of your meal and uh, you can, it'll, through AI, it will analyze what's on your dish and tell you how many calories it has and what the nutrients are. Um, so this is a way to, you know, if you're watching your diet, it can, instead of calorie counting, you can just rely on the app to do it for you. Uh, this technology has also been applied already to restaurants and again to the sustainability side of things. Um, they will look at plates at restaurants after customers eaten to see how much food has been wasted. So then they can analyze, okay, we don't need to make a dish that large. We'll pull back and we're going to waste less food. So again, it's, uh, you know, using AI to you know, solve some of these big problems. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. I think I would actually end up using that. It'd be kind of a way to count calories, if you will. Yeah, and you know, really I mean, cool. again, the calorie counting, that's kind of a, a tough process for people to keep track of. You have to keep a checklist or you have to, you know, go food item by food item and check it off. This just does it in one photo. So it's that's really, really pretty cool. Neat. We saw a really cool hearable product called Ergo. Uh, first FDA approved, no need for a doctor. And, yeah. uh, you know, I have a bit of hearing loss myself. And so I tried it out. and. It kind of opened up a, a world of possibilities. We have a, sometimes a bit of a challenge to hear in a trade show environment. Yeah, this has been a, a really huge breakthrough for hearing tech. Um, just this past year, FDA passed regulations to allow over-the-counter hearing aids. Usually you have to get a prescription. Mm -hmm. You have to pay a hefty amount for that hearing aid. Um, so now it's opened up the market to all these technologies. And we already know the technology is there to improve um, and to customize sound in your in your earbuds, 
So this takes advantage of that technology that's already there, got through the FDA approval process, which is which is a huge hurdle. And um, so it's not, not even a, that it needs to be approved, but it's an over-the-counter hearing aid that you can go to the store and purchase and uh, could help a lot. There's millions of people in this country that have hearing loss and yeah. they don't decide not to treat it because they're it's too expensive. So this mm. opens up the market for them. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I think we can all agree that technology is designed to augment the human condition, you know, and so whether it's food security or whether it's hearables or this, this massive push towards sustainability, you know, the electrification of all transportation and so forth. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just amazing, almost bewildering to see the technological industry keeps iterating always at a breakneck pace. Yeah, and what I like about CES is that you have all the ingredients of everything we're gonna see uh, in the technology we're using, you know, five, 10, 15 years out, you know, all the individual parts, the components, yeah. kind of this is the melting pot of all that, the testing ground for all of it. So they, uh, you know, people here get out, pull ideas from each other and, and partner with each other to make, you know, these cool products. Absolutely. And uh, and it's just amazing to see, especially you look at stuff like artificial intelligence, which is just in everything yeah. now, it's being used on all levels. Uh, you look at stuff uh, like the uh, self-driving vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, that technology has added safety to our current cars. Yeah. And in the future could add mobility to people who maybe can't drive, you know? Um, can add new vehicles that get us around town, get us through the city in alternative ways. So, uh, and then there's the whole electrification in automotive, which is a whole other aspect of, uh, you know, sustainability and uh, you know, relying on shifting from gas to electric and renewables, this is a major step towards that. That's really, yeah, very well said. I think um, it's almost impossible to see how far it's all gonna go. But like you say, it's, it is the individual components and companies that are at CES that really are makers of the future. Um, well, I just wanna say a big thank you very much for your time. You know, yeah. we really appreciate uh, being able to come to CES. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, just thank you for being at the show. This has been a wildly successful show this year. You know, we're coming back. Yeah. I think events are coming back. Yeah. Uh, and I just feel the excitement every day that I've been at this show. Uh, and I've been here a few days. So Absolutely. yeah, it's yeah. been a really good time and uh, getting to see people I haven't seen in a long time and uh, just a good sense of community, uh, excitement and collaboration uh, and innovation. So. Yeah. So that we can probably expect an even bigger CES in 2024 then is what you're saying. I think the momentum's there yeah. and the excitement's there. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. That's great. Just want to say a big thank you to Richard, Authority Media, Darcy Lacouvet reporting live from CES 2023.